Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another indie devlog for my game The Architect. Um, I just want to talk about what I'll be doing today and what's kind of going on in my mind today. Um, my hair looks kind of silly right now, but yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, so today I'm kind of overwhelmed, right? Because I'm so close to getting my game to where it needs to be to be launched, to be pitched, basically to be a playable demo of the game. Um, and I feel like because I'm so close yet I'm not quite there I feel a lot of tension and I feel a lot of like almost confusion um, but I'm thinking that the best way to just kind of overcome this is to log my hours of working and do what I have to do to make the game uh, go on uh, so today I'll be working on the creatures houses uh, the creatures have each they have their own house that you have to build for them and assign the uh, the creature to the house and I'm thinking that each creature's house will be kind of unique uh, every creature's house will have kind of a different theme that matches the creature and uh, so I've already made a lot of the different houses in the past but I need to kind of make them more compatible with my current version of the game so I'm going to be opening up Affinity, Affinity Designer in a bit and I'm going to be kind of uh, finishing up all the work that I was doing to make it compatible with the current version. Uh, uh, something that's been going through my mind with game development is that, you know, like, there's so many iterations that you go through when you're making your first playable build that sometimes it can get really daunting. It feels like, you know, if you don't have something playable for a long time, that you feel a little, uh, you feel depressed almost. You feel like you're not making progress because nobody's playing the game. You feel like it's not out there yet, and therefore it's not a thing yet. And I'm just starting to realize you need to kind of just get over that. You need to overcome that feeling and continue to work on the game anyway with kind of, uh, navigating yourself towards a playable build. Um, as they say, a playable build is one of those things that a lot of indie developers don't have ready when they're working on a game uh, that they need to have ready. I was watching a video yesterday about uh, like the top eight mistakes game developers make and uh, one of them was not having a playable build ready. I think this was an ask game dev video um, so I'm in the process of making a playable build that hopefully will be be done in a less than a week or so but it takes so much effort to get to that playable build level especially if you have like a grand plan for a game as opposed to like a simple uh, you know a simple game like a, a platformer or something really with not a lot going on so if you you know, if you want to make a real successful big game, uh, as opposed to something little and minimalistic, which has kind of been done a million times already, uh, I think it's okay to take a little bit more time to get yourself to that playable demo level, instead of just kind of, uh, you know, rushing it and making something kind of half-baked. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be... I'm going to be working on the creature houses today and you know there's so much more going on uh, so much there's, there's like a big party going on here I have to be hosting today I have to clean my whole house uh, it's a lot of work so my my what my recommendation for the day is that you be patient with yourself while you're working on a playable build but still have a playable build in your sights as the first goal. Like, y even if your playable build differs a lot from your final product, it's important to have something that is playable and reminiscent of what you're going for so that you can uh, share that with people and that you can get people on board working, you know, towards building an audience for your game. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm going through right now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing the creature houses and 
hopefully in a week I get a playable build so I can kind of start pitching to a publisher that I'm thinking about uh, pitching it towards. And I think I've got a pretty solid pitch as far as the text goes, but I need to make a trailer, I need to make a, uh, a demo, and that's what I'm going to be shooting for this week. Um, so yeah, I guess that's my devlog for the day. Uh, sorry if it was a little uh, unfocused, I'm trying to like get in the habit of making a consistent video, even if it's not super substantial. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.